Right. There's been a change of schedule. I'll give an explanation uh, once we get to the intro. Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here. And welcome back to FM24 Western Supermare. Now I told you there was going to be a trophy showdown. And you would have all thought that it would be against Eastbourne Borough. However, it is not. It is against the quarterfinal against York City. Let me explain. So, I got to the Eastbourne Borough game and then I took a look at the schedule. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Saturday, Wednesday. Yeah, lots of midweek games. I managed to play through the Eastbourne Borough game, which I did record, and then that was an absolute slog and it wasn't very fun to record. Neither was the 3-0 battle battering against Yeovil. So I thought, fuck it, we'll get through this absolute hell run of games where everybody will be tired. Then we'll come to the point where I get to the quarterfinal of the FA Trophy. I did the draw, we got York City. So we're going to go play a Van Arma National League team in the quarterfinal. I think we might get through that mid-table in the National League. But I'm still looking at my team, including new goalkeeper Andy Skerritt, who's actually been quite good since he's come in. He's got a much, he's got a much higher team than Luke Parnell. And we could even get him the five stars. He's been excellent so far. And he will he will definitely be offered a new contract when we get through because he'll be my starting goalkeeper. Um at the moment in terms of the competitions, we are we've still got a gap thanks to Yogel drawing, but they've played a game less. I think they're playing this uh this week. Uh this weekend. So we're gonna be playing York and Maidstone. We're gonna go straight into the York game. Yeah, here we are. They're playing Slank. Shit. Well, they'll probably win that. Uh, I don't expect us to win here, if I'm going to be totally honest, but I do have some level of hope. Because they are basically a better team than us. Now, this guy, I believe, is their top scorer. I did take a look, so we're going to get night level to mark him. Or, yeah, no, it's Pocus on Haas fucking um, injured. Not injured, but he's not fit, I don't think. Yeah, we have a, uh, we have a lot of fitness issues, all of it, because we've been coming off of a really, really heavy fucking um, schedule. We'll have to risk a ton of people and hope we don't get any injuries. So, this will be enjoyable. The team, yeah, the team is Skerritt, Thomas, Sonhar, Pope, Kempster, Dodd, Lindley, Morton, Cadogan, Grubb, and Sewell. I think, yeah, we're also at York, so... We've traveled, I think it's traveling just straight, kind of north... East area, or from Western Superman, uh, just for this, so. Oh, that was almost a really nice passing range and then just, just cut out. That was a cheat, oh, that was it. Problem's that's a really cheeky belt and that is a first minute booking. Oh, three, okay, both, both teams have had a play booked inside first five minutes, all right. Oof, this will be a interesting game. Nice cutouts. Get again there, into Dodd. Oh, that was a good... Saved. Fair enough. Oh, come on. Uh, I should probably show you how the rest of the results went besides uh, after the Eastbourne goal, for God's sake, and now Pope's... But that's both my centre backs booked inside fifteen minutes. Fan fucking tastic. Oof, that's not bad actually. I do think they make a lot of long shots in this game. I think they're all very, very overpowered. But oh Jesus Christ! Right, we're gonna have to turn off the uh, get stuck in because it feels like they're drawing fouls out of us.
Ah, that was weak. I thought Katagan probably could have tried to get a touch on that try and take that past the goalie. <coughs> but yeah, I should probably show you the rest of the schedule at some point. I promise I can't press F4 to go out and show you the schedule because that will turn off OBS. Um, so. Ooh. Ah, to just take the ball down with your chest for fun. I suppose they don't... I mean, I don't know whether they really have the skill to do that. Well, I don't, wouldn't know. But I feel like they should probably be able to do that rather than just pointlessly have the ball on. Oh, ah, Christ. That goalkeeper's done really well. I feel like Katagan could maybe got something better on that. I don't know. Oh, that's poor. Everybody had already exited the box, so it just went straight to a... Uh, Oh, that was really weak. Come on, guys. Oh, that was a fair block there. We'll make that change at half time. Problem's like, I have to leave level tail off because he's not fit. So, this will be fun. Look at, look at all those yellows. Oof. All right. Uh. Get the ball out safely. Good. Ooh. That was an almost. I think... I think for the sake of fitness, I don't think he's doing, he's struggling, so we're not going to put Mannings on. What, why do we have to watch the, why do we have to watch this exactly? What's the point? Ah, whatever. Oof. Oof. That was a hammer shot. Scarrett did very well to save that. Oh, we got the breakaway. Get it forward. No, too early, too early, too early. Too ah, too early. Good save. Good catch. Scarrett's done vet. Told you he was good. He's done incredibly since we got him in the league. Right, I'm going to make a cheesy last sub here because I've only really got Macaulay Taylor. He scored his first goal in a while against Welling. So, what I want him to do... Oh, I didn't pick the thing. You know what, kid? Go be a hero for no fucking reason. Do it. Like, so I don't expect to get... So I don't even know, did they do replays or do they do... Um... Oh, that was poor. 
before, but then there was no one in the box because everybody had already exited the box. And now they can break. And yeah, there we go. And I think... Was that their, was that their center mid? Yeah, that was their center mid. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but they won really poor pass because everybody had already exited the box and then they get the goal. Not a lot you can do there. Good steal. But then they don't pass it forward, they just pass it backwards because everybody's immediately run offside. See, that was supposed to be that's hang oh wait no i know what that's happened so pope was meant to be marking a player but the, that player is now yeah oh no he's just done shit all right yeah this is the pope is not very good um and unfortunately i don't have anyone else because knight level couldn't make it because he was like half the heart was at half so he was basically dead there's not a lot we can do here. Everybody is tired because we've been playing week in, week out. I actually think part of that is because we've been in the cup, so it's having to rearrange all of our matches for midweek. And we don't really have the squad depth. We Getting this far was incredible anyway. But we've suffered for it in the long term. So now hopefully we can get like a break in. Oof. Shame because we actually we 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 controlled the early game, but we just couldn't get any fucking shots away because everybody was just passing mindlessly into the box, rather than anybody being in the box. I know I've got work ball in the box on, but you've got to have players in the box. Nah, I disagree. You can you can be proud. You went up against the national league team. You dominated for the first half. It took them till the eighty second minute of the bloody school. Anyway. Should still get some money for that. Yeah, we got two grand. Oh, well. All right, I'm going to skip ahead to the Maidstone game. All right, it is time to play Maidstone. I've had to make one change because of Kempster's fitness issues. Pope has had to come in, but otherwise we've got Skerritt, Pope, Knight LaBelle, Sonar, Thomas, Obi Edwards, Dodd, Lindley, Morton, Sewell, and Grubb. Actually, I don't trust Obi Edwards there anymore. We're going to play uh, Cadigan. And yes, we have to play him as a winger because that's what they keep bitching about playing him as. So that'll have to do. Right, we kind of really need a fucking win here because Yeovil are right up our asses and they're playing Braintree, which won't be much of an issue for them. Right, you better... Let's have, a, let's have an improvement at least. Well, I do think you're unlucky against York. I think it's more the fact you've got to make the chances count in top. We do have a problem with doing that. We'll be on top. We've been on top for quite a few games this season, but we've uh, drawn or lost them because we haven't made it count. We take a while to make it count, and it's really nerve wracking. It's when I rebuild the squad, I need to get people who are very, very good at pressing and basically getting goals. I I don't think he went too early there. I don't think he did. Where's the uh, table? Oh, great. That took five minutes for Yeovil to take the lead. Literally. Well, not a lot's happened. That's kind of awkward. Um, guys? See, that's really poor. You've got Cadogan on the side there, and he's free. I don't know whether he's on side, I must admit, but he's free. And he can just tap the ball head. But instead, there seems to be this upset. Oh, nice. Brain tree of equalized. But there seems to be this obsession um, in the playing, playing style this year with getting with just hitting the ball from range. And I think, oh, God, I think Lindley's banned for the tournament game now. Shit. All right. That to go in. 
Oh, he's missed the ball. Oh, okay. To be fair, Katagan takes the shot, but there was too many men in front of him. You've done well so far. Don't let it slip now. Might take Dot off. Move just go up to center. Uh. Oh. Just really need a cut across, but there was no one else in the box, but it was good to take the shot. Oh, that's a waste. Tried to play it clever and then just straight offside. <sighs> Almost. It's a good run from Pope, but the goalkeeper just managed to get in the way. Stop fucking... You see, I think I think that one is bullshit. Because he's not moved, and basically all that's happened is that as he's gone to grab the ball, the defender just stepped forward, but he was onside at the point the ball was kicked. So unless they've changed the rules or something, I don't know what's going on there. See, again, it's just, it's just a waste of fucking energy to just pointlessly shoot from distance. <clears throat> and what's stupid is it happens so often, I now sometimes get recommended um, shoot on site. I think genuinely out of it, oh, well, we're doing it anyway. See, it just plays all the way back and then it's just wasted. Yeah, it's, yeah he moved way too early there. So we're going to take Dodd off, move Grob to the center, and we're going to put on Mannings. Oh, and Braintree are winning now, which is mucho helpful. See, that's, Saul's there in the center, but he's not moving forward for the tap-in. He's letting Mannings run in and shoot. It's not how work ball into the box actually is supposed to work. Now, for the sake of my sanity, I am going to move some things around, and I'm going to put on Humphreys, and then that will be... No, I can make one more change after that, but I don't think I want to. Do I want to? So I'm putting up... Just get the fresh legs on the pitch. Really hoping Brain Tree can hold out. Because I don't think we're going to get anything out of this game. Just because we're not making the most of our chances. Kind of been really awkward to watch. Even awkward to sit through because nothing's really happening. See, that was a that was a no. Oh. Well, that was. I I, I think they could have played advantage on that one and just ignored the offside, but apparently you can't do that. Oh. Well, okay. We'll see if. Braintree held out. Yeah, we. I mean, we could have won that, but I think it's it's just kind of being wasteful and good offside trap playing, good playing of the offside trap. Yeah, so Braintree runs, so we're up to like the same number of games. So we've got five point gap. So that is rather useful. I think that's everybody. Yeah. 
go to the competitions with Tombridge play, scoring the playoffs, so it's just Eastbourne, Hampton and Richmond and Maidstone and then a few others. From the looks of it, it's probably going to be these guys. Um, no one else can really get close. So, in terms of the schedule, obviously these are all the other games we played. We had a first goal from Courtney Taylor, we lost. Uh, played Dover, St. Albans. Though again, some, some of these were... This one was we only really won because they had a man sent off, in truth. Because we were very, very tired throughout a lot of these. I think the only game we won was the Chippenham game. So we will be back for... <coughs> well, there is the question because I'm five points ahead. I trust that Yeovil will keep winning. So I think if we come back... Yeah, if we come back for Avely and Worthing the last two games of the season promotion and automatic promotion will still be up for grabs so it won't be a case of hopefully it won't be a case of me having already wrapped it up but if we have already wrapped it up then so be it anyway um if you've enjoyed this feel free to leave a like if you want to see more you can always subscribe i've been Canberra run and thank you for watching